know, the truth is people only believe what they have evidence to believe. We don't believe the invisible. We don't believe the supernatural. There's a lot of things we don't believe. We believe what we have evidence to believe. As a matter of fact, the Bible even says that. In Hebrews uh, the 11th chapter, the first verse, it says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things that you can't see. And here's what I've discovered. All I've got to do to believe something is to be able to gather enough evidence. And when I gather, gather enough evidence where it is no longer deniable, I can't argue with it in my mind. I can't reason it away. When I gather enough evidence, the truth is nothing can move me from that belief unless somebody presents me with more evidence. But you know what? Nobody can present you with evidence if you know how to hold this evidence in your heart. You see, we've, been, we've learned how to gather evidence out here with our five senses. We know how to, how to get in touch with our physical pain. We know how to bring what we see into our minds and what we hear and what we smell and what we taste. And we know how to bring all this stuff together and think on it and ponder on it. And we look at our past and we've got all these external sources for gathering evidence. And, and we gather all that and it affects the way we feel. It affects the way we believe. But I'm going to tell you something. The key to experiencing the miraculous is learning how to gather evidence in your own heart in the unseen. Now listen, there's really not much to living by faith. The God kind of faith is real simple. You got to see the end from the beginning. You got to have an intention that that is what you're going to have. There's not an if, and, or but about it. You intend to live this end that you have seen. And when you've seen the end and you have the, the, the intention for that end, basically you've got to gather evidence so that you will believe this in your heart. So that's all you see. It's all you experience. And that's the next thing. You've got to bring yourself to the place to where it is your experience. And then all you've got to do is keep the words of your mouth consistent with what you're feeling in your heart about this end. You know, one time I was laying in the hospital, and it was questionable if I was ever going to live. I'd gone through, at that time, about, I think, seven surgeries. I'd been hospitalized numerous times. My kidneys were a third of the size of normal, and I had renal cysts on both kidneys. I'd just gone through everything imaginable. I had all these surgeries and, and had had an infection that wouldn't go away and it really really looked bad and my only hope was to stay on uh, medication for the rest of my life and the only problem was that medication that kept this infection under check was destroying my kidneys i'll never forget i was laying in bed one day and i was thinking man i i've i've, I've walked by faith as much as i know how there's nothing i can do i'm in this bed i'm too weak to get up i don't know what to do i tell you god spoke to me and says yeah yeah there's something else you can do you can see the end in your heart and I laid there in that bed and I pondered that. And I'll never forget, I closed my eyes and I began to, to visualize and imagine and experience myself being well and having energy and being outside playing with my kids and, and taking walks with my wife and, and being involved in the things of life that I really, really enjoy. And that's the only thing I could do. And I'll tell you, as I began to see that end and as that became real to me, at some point along the way, it became so real, I couldn't live in that sickness anymore. Yeah, you know, a lot of people said, Jim, what day did you get healed? I don't know. All I can tell you is this, is day by day, to the degree that this end, this new evidence that I was seeing, and this evidence, it became stronger than the medical records. It became stronger than the doctor's report. It became stronger than my life history of sickness. I gathered so much evidence that nothing else was believable. And one day, just like slipping out of an old loose coat, I just walked out of that reality into a whole new reality. If you'll get inside your heart and gather evidence about the life you want, it will become so real you just can't live anything else.